So, welcome back. Today I'm with Dalmont, and we're going to be taking a look at three of his ships in the lineup review. They're only small, so which one do you want to show me first? All right, we'll start on the right, I guess, if you're facing the front of the line. And uh, okay. this kind of comes as a package, part of the same series. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, there seems to be some kind of thing missing back here. It looks like it's supposed to be mirrored, but it's missing its other half. Nope, uh, it's actually supposed to be like that, the uh, two little wedges. Yeah, it looks asymmetrical and kind of jerking me. Moving on. So yeah, Dalmont, what's the name of this one first then? Alright, the first ship is the Aurora, and it is an executive shuttle. An executive shuttle? And the only one with an interior to speak of. Okay, uh, so others... let's check that out then. Huh, no, no, bad surfboard. Okay, I stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's get in there. What have we got? Ooh, I like the cockpit. That's cool. Water! <laughs> Very nice. Just in slurp, case you get slurp, thirsty, I'll go. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I'm liking the wing design as well. We've seen this in the videos before, but this is finished now, yeah? Yep, this one is completely done. The uh, finalized version. And what was the and name? I have to... This is the Aurora, and the I have Aurora. to add, it sits perfectly on planets. It's just, oh, it's wonderful in gravity. So it's graceful. I guess that's what we're using shot. for diplomacy with the Republic. Nice. It is really nice. I love the detailing style, but there you go. This sort of overwing is an interesting touch as well. Okay, so what's the second ship in the line? Alright, the second one is its sister ship, the Borealis. The and Borealis. it is a slightly more heavily armed uh, variant. This would be more of a military uh, version of that ship. But it is a completely scratch belt, so it's a, it's a completely different ship in and of itself. Yeah. So this would be a light fighter or, or something to that general effect, but... More or less just a slightly more heavily armed version, and this doesn't have too much of an interior to speak of. Just a, a single room. Kind of like the Comet. Spartan and efficient. It's got everything that you need. The Aurora, Borealis. the Aurora, the Borealis, and what's yeah. the third one going to be? I'm waiting for the pun. There is no pun with the third one. Oh, I hate to, okay. I hate to break the break the, st the spree. This one's actually uh, different, but it is a part of the same uh, series because they're all kind of built at the same time. Uh, this is the Serona, named after a Celtic goddess of healing, and it, as the name would imply, is a repair ship. Ooh, and also one of the few I do that's really asymmetrical. Very nice. Yeah, it is, but it also sort of reminds me of the pig who we destroyed in Star Trek Online because of the way the front end is built. Well, to be honest, um, I was just thinking about that uh, EVE Online ship with um, a big ball yeah. sticking off the front. What's it called? It's a Caldari ship. Is it a Falcon? Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a frigate. I'm no, it's not a Falcon. It's something even earlier than that. It's the three-winged one. What's it called? The Crow. Is it the Crow? It could yeah, be. Yeah, and Raptor. Yeah, it could be. Very nice. Very nice. But, Once uh, again, this one's pretty Spartan on the inside. It's a, it's a bit of a break away from your usual design, which is nice. It's always good to see people breaking or breaking out of their boxes. It's nice. Um, oh, and what's this on the back? You've got a little... My box is yeah. nice and cozy on the inside. It's like the Red Cross. They're nice and cozy. Uh, <laughs> let's just have a look at this one, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, like you say, it's only what you need. Corridor, computers. Got a nice little uh, thing here, health, like a red cross. Yeah. It isn't like a red cross, it is a red cross. So there you go. So you've got the repair ship. What was the name of the repair ship again? The Serona. The Serona. Kind of sounds like Corona. Serona. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't it help it. <laughs> so there it goes. 
And that's three ships. Is that basically everything you wanted to show? Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, no, wait. We've already seen this. This is someone else's drop ship. Yes. What's underneath it, though? Is it a mech? Looks like, yeah, an upside down mech. It's a mech getting ready to get dropped by the drop ship. This is one of uh, Ryben's. <clears throat> is Ryben cut in the line or is he next? I, I think he just kind of showed up. Yeah, I think, yeah. He's, I think he's just Cause, cause here. So he's just here. And, well, that's yeah. all right. He can be at the end of your review, so there it is. Um, so, yeah, well, firstly, I just want to thank uh, Mr. Dalmont for bringing me these three beautiful ships to take a look at. And uh, thanks to everybody watching, because that's been some, these are some nice ships here, right here. And, um, yeah, I'm, so you're gonna, I'm sure you're going to see much more of them in future. And uh, thanks for watching, as always. See you next time.